world's biggest hydroelectric power plants. With an installed capacity of more than 1,307 gigawatts, hydropower is the largest renewable energy source worldwide. According to a study by the International Energy Agency, this will continue to be the primary supply between 2019 and 2024. The top 10 largest hydroelectric power facilities in the world are ranked by Power Technology. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so we can show you more. These are the top 10 by capacity. 1. Three Gorges Dam, 22.5 gigawatts. 2. Itapu Dam, 14 gigawatts. 3. Ziluadu, 13.86 gigawatts. 4. Belo Monte, 11.23 gigawatts. 5. Haguri, 10.2 gigawatts. 6. Takuruai, 8.37 gigawatts. 7. Grand Coulee, 6.8 gigawatts. 8. Zangjiaba, 6.44 gigawatts. 9. Longten, 6.42 gigawatts. 10. Sayanoshushinskaya, 6.4 gigawatts. 1. Three Gorges, 22.5 gigawatts. The Three Gorges Dam, located in central China's Hubei province on the Yangtze River, is the largest dam of its kind in terms of installed capacity. The huge floodwaters in the higher stretches of the Yangtze River are meant to be controlled by the 2.3-kilometer-long concrete gravity dam. There are a total of 34 turbo generators in the power plant, allowing it to produce 22.5 gigawatts of electricity. Among its many features are a left powerhouse and a right powerhouse as well as a spillway that stretches for 483 meters. The $31 billion hydroelectric power plant has been running since 2003, and it provides the majority of the electricity for several areas in East China, Central China, and the Guangdong province in South China. In 2020, it produced 111.8 billion kilowatt-hours of electricity, setting a new record for annual power output from a single hydropower station, which is owned by China Three Gorges Corporation, CTGC, kilowatt-hour. The power plant eliminated 86.7 metric tons of carbon dioxide, 19,600 T of nitrogen oxide, and 20,600 T of sulfur dioxide while preventing the consumption of 31.7 metric tons of coal. The dam's ability to withstand high floods was questioned, despite the fact that it helps produce cleaner power and reduces dependency on coal, which is burned in enormous quantities in China's power generation. Flood levels at Three Gorges reached their highest point since the dam opened in August 2020 due to heavy rainfall. In November 2020, the project was said to have passed all testing for flood control and power generation, putting to rest any concerns about its effectiveness. 2. Itaipu, 14 gigawatts. Located on the Parana River, which forms the international boundary between Brazil and Paraguay, lies the Itaipu Binational Hydroelectric Power Project. It contains 20 power plants with a total of 14 gigawatts of capacity. The power plant, which is jointly owned by the governments of Brazil and Paraguay, required the use of approximately 12.3 mcm of concrete in its construction. This endeavor will utilize enough steel and iron to erect 380 Eiffel Towers, over 55 stories taller than the 7.23-kilometer-long dam. The plant's 2016 output of 103.09 billion kilowatt hours was the previous yearly record holder. The plant is crucial to the energy demands of Brazil and Paraguay, providing 15% of Brazil's electricity and 90% of Paraguay's. The facility's cumulative hydroelectric output is unprecedented. It began operations in 1984, and by the end of 2020, it had generated 2.77 billion megawatt hours of electricity. Technology enhancements are planned to increase the plant's productivity. The Itaipu power plant will be able to run reliably for decades to come thanks to a comprehensive modernization effort. 3. Ziluadu, 13.86 gigawatts. In 2014, the Ziluadu hydropower project on the Jinsha Jiang River in China began producing electricity in earnest. The plant's 18 Francis turbine generators are split evenly between the left and right side of the river. 
Ziluadu is the country's second largest hydro plant and features a concrete double curvature arch dam with a maximum dam height of 285.5 m. This project's primary goals are to increase electricity production, decrease the risk of flooding, and enhance boating safety. There will be five large gates installed as part of the project to manage the water level in the river behind the dam. The project, which is owned by China Yangtze Power, is an important renewable energy source that helps the country satisfy its massive energy demand while cutting emissions and coal use. It supplies the state grid and the China Southern Power Grid with 64 billion kilowatt hours of renewable energy every year. 4. Belo Monte, 11.23 gigawatts. Brazil's state of Para is home to the Belo Monte Hydroelectric Project, which is located on the Xingu River in the Amazonian wilderness. The electricity it produces, with an installed capacity of 11.23 gigawatts, is sufficient to supply the demands of 60 million people or 10% of Brazil's total energy consumption. About 7% of the country's total power producing capacity has been deployed so far. Once the 18th producing unit was turned on in November of 2019, the plant was at full capacity. The primary power plant features 18 units with 611.11 MW each, while the secondary power plant includes 6 units with 38.85 MW each. The power plant was constructed with 3 million cubic meters of concrete and more than 160.000 T of steel, and is operated by the Norte Energia Consortium on a 35-year concession term. Since the Itapu project is a joint venture with Paraguay, Belo Monte is the largest hydro facility in Brazil that is wholly owned by the country. Low water levels, as well as social and environmental concerns, plagued the site, which is a part of Brazil's hydropower development boom. 5. The Guri, 10.2 gigawatts. The first powerhouse at the Guri power plant on the Caroni River in Bolvar State, Venezuela, owned by CVG. Electrification del Caroni CA, Edelca, went online in 1978. It has 10 generating units. In 1985, 10 more generators were installed in a second power plant. The Guri plant is vital to Venezuela's energy sector because its 10.23 gigawatts installed capacity provides almost 80% of the country's electricity. The plant's life was extended by 30 years thanks to a modernization program. The project's control, protection, and instrumentation infrastructure were the primary targets of the upgrade. The government of Venezuela and the World Bank paid for the construction of Guri, also known as the Simon Bolivar Hydroelectric Plant. There is a reservoir of about 4,600 square kilometers behind the 7.42 kilometer long and 162 meter high concrete gravity and embankment dam. Multiple times over the years, the country's power production has to be adjusted due to drought circumstances. The Guri Dam's water level dropped dramatically in 2010 due to the country's lengthy drought leading to a nationwide power outage. In 2019, much of the country was in the dark due to another nationwide blackout caused by the failure of the power project. 6. Tukuruai, 8.37 GW Located on the Tocantins River in the Brazilian state of Para, the Tukuruai Dam is capable of producing 8.37 GW of electricity. It has been running since 1984 and it provides enough power for about 8% of the country. The project is being built in two stages, with the first focusing on generating power and the second on enhancing navigation. The 25-unit facility is the first significant hydroelectric power plant in the Brazilian Amazon jungle and is operated by electricity generation and transmission company Eletronort. The first phase was finished in 1984, and the second, which included a second powerhouse, was finished in 2010. After the first stage, there were 14 generation units, and the second stage added 11. 7. Grand Coulee, 6.8 GW The Grand Coulee Dam, at 6.8 GW, is the largest such facility in the United States. It is one of the largest concrete constructions that may be found on the Columbia River west of Spokane, Washington. The Nathaniel Washington Power Plant is the largest of the facility's four powerhouses, 
with a yearly output of up to 21 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. Grand Coulee serves primarily for hydropower, irrigation, and flood control, and was constructed as part of the larger Columbia Basin project. Franklin D. Roosevelt Lake, three power plants, a pump generating facility, and four switchyards are all part of the Columbia Basin project. The project generates enough electricity to serve the states of Idaho, Nevada, Washington, Oregon, Arizona, California, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, New Mexico, and Colorado. 4,200,000 American residences per year receive electricity from the Grand Coulee Dam project. The third power plant at Grand Coulee is undergoing a multi-year refurbishment to boost efficiency and add 40 more years to its operational life. 8. Zangjiaba, 6.44 GW The Zangjiaba hydroelectric project generates 30.7 billion kilowatt hours annually and is located on the Jinsha River in southwest China, a tributary of the Yangtze. It is owned by CTGC and powered by GE Francis turbines rated at 800 megawatts. Along with the Three Gorges Reservoir, this facility is in charge of flood management on the middle and lower stretches of the Yangtze River. The first generator went live in 2012, and the last one was brought online in 2014. The generated electricity is sent to Shanghai via the 2,000 km, 800 kV, KV, Xiangjiaba Shanghai Ultra High Voltage Direct Current, UHVDC, link. The link system voltage is 33% higher than that of the Itaipu transmission line. The UHVDC ranks high on the list of the longest transmission lines in the world. 9. Longton Hydropower Plant, 6.42 GW. Located on the banks of the Hongshui River in China's Guangxi Shuang Autonomous Region lies the Longton Hydroelectric Power Station. It is an integral part of China's West East Electricity Transmission Project, which seeks to alleviate power shortages in the urban centers of Shanghai, Beijing, and Tianjin by expanding power resources in the western region. Longton's Roller Compacted Concrete RCC, Gravity Dam, at 216.5 m in height and 836 m in length, can hold 27.3 bcm of water and another 7 bcm for flood management. It is estimated that the power plant can produce 18.7 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year. The project's scope encompassed the building of the dam, the generating plant, and the ship locks. In 2008, the plant's first phase went live, which included seven generators with a total capacity of 700 megawatts MW. In 2009, all nine generators were running smoothly. 10. Sayanoshushinskaya, 6.4 gigawatts. Russia's largest hydroelectric power station is the 6.4 gigawatts Sayanoshushinskaya facility on the Yenisei River. Rus Hydro, a provider of hydropower, manages the facility. It is a 242 m high arch gravity dam with a 1.06 km long crest and a 25 m wide crest. In 2009, the Cyanosheshenskaya facility was under close examination when a turbine failure led to flooding of the building, the deaths of 75 people, and a 40T oil leak in the Yenisei River. All 10 turbines were damaged and at least three were destroyed as a result of the catastrophe. After the incident, the plant had a new vibration monitor installed, among other precautions. 2.5% of Russia's electricity production was lost due to the temporary closure of the facility after the accident. Despite restarting operations in February 2010, the plant did not begin operations until November 2014, when the repairs were finished. What are your thoughts on these megatoms? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more. Until the next one.